So your brain. The brain is one of the most misunderstood parts of your body. And a lot of those brain facts you grew up hearing about are wrong. For example, do people really only use 10% of their brain? No, no way. Your brain is always busy, and most of its work goes unnoticed, dare I say unappreciated. Breathing, digesting, stuff like that. None of this would happen without your brain. Now, some areas of your brain are more active at any one time than others, but unless we have brain damage, there's no one part of your brain that is just absolutely never working. And what about the idea that brain damage is always permanent? That's false. There are different types of brain damage and they are not created equal. Your brain can recover from a minor injury like a concussion pretty well. And most of the people who experience a mild brain injury are not gonna wind up with permanent disability. Severe brain damage can be irreversible, but your brain is an incredibly resilient fighter and it can circumvent damaged neurons by building new pathways. Areas of the brain can learn new functions too. And speaking of functions, no, alcohol does not kill brain cells, and that is great news for, you know, for some of us. Uh, no brain cells were harmed in the making of your last drinking binge. Alcohol can, however, damage dendrites, resulting in problems as your neurons try to talk to each other. According to Professor Roberta J. Pentney, this damage is mostly reversible. And speaking of improving your brain, I've got some bad news. Mozart, not gonna make your kid a genius. This idea dates back to the 1950s, but it was popularized in the 90s. That's when psychologist Gordon Shaw played Mozart for 36 students before giving them an IQ test. Now, he thought they improved, but no one has been able to replicate those results since. Understanding or playing music can make you better at some stuff, but just hearing it won't cut it. So listen to Mozart because you like the guy, not because you think he'll make you a genius. Now, some of you may recognize me from stuff they don't want you to know. And you might be wondering, hey, are there any uh, subliminal messages in here? Doesn't matter. Learning through subliminal messages doesn't work. In 1957, a guy named James Vickery claimed that he inserted messages about snacks into a New Jersey film. According to him, Coke sales bubbled up, get it, 18%, and popcorn boomed up 57%. He coined the term subliminal message, and he was lying about the results. But don't be discouraged by all of these myths. We're learning more and more real-life amazing things about the brain every day, like TDCS, for instance, that is literally zapping your brain to improve its performance. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to learn more about human brain myths, visit our article, 10 Myths About the Human Brain, on HowStuffWorks.com. But also, let us know what you think the next big discovery about the human brain is going to be. Uh, leave a comment below here. You can also like and subscribe to our channel for new amazing What the Stuff. <laughs>